Hello and welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clicks. I'm your sexy ranch and co-host Calder Nest. This episode, we're going to be chatting up just a little bit of Hero Clicks news, but mostly we're going to be covering quite a few questions that we got in the mail this week, as well as a ton of talk about our favorite sculpts. This is episode 490. Howdy, howdy. Let's get rowdy. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional Hero Clicks. No. It's over, Simeon. I have the high ground. Instant dead pain. Over six people somewhere. think I am funny. I'm your Captain America. That was just you in a costume. Absolute fool. Simi will be able to edit that out, I'm sure. That's cool because it's expensive. I'm going to make your clips like that forever. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Dial H for Hero Clicks is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock every day, including all the latest Hero Clicks singles and sealed products. Make sure you check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Com. Use code DIAL5, D-I-A-L-5, for 5% off your Cool Stuff Inc. order. Or you can jump on over to the shop.wizkids.com website. Looking for some hero clicks, use code DIAL H10 to get some hero clicks on that website. Doesn't work with like pre orders, play at home kits, iconics, a handful of other things. But like older bricks and stuff, you can save 10% on, which is pretty nice. Simeon, what's going on, my man? Oh, you know. Same old, same old. We're uh, recording on a Monday, so uh, you know me. There's two things you can you can determine about me. I I love lasagna. Oh jeez. I hate Mondays, John. Oh boy. Get I my just... bat. I hate Mondays. Oh gosh. No. Terrifying. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely uh... terrifying wildly warm weather for the next week and a half or so and here in omaha we're hitting the 60s again so i didn't think it would be like 65 degrees and i'd be sweating but I know. here i am sweating at La- like 65 Dude. degrees last week was all coats and this week is like what are you wearing a coat for stupid idiot it's nice outside i'm like huh why all right yeah. fine i'll take it but why uh yeah what made you happiest last week my man yeah, ninety percent of the reason I wear jackets is because uh, all the pockets I have, like, I don't have to wear. Do you a, like those? I have like a pocket like for those my pockets. Wallet, pocket for my keys, pocket for my phone. Got all kinds of pockets yeah. for everything. Pants don't have to even have pockets at that point. Yeah. Uh, what made me happy this last week was opening some uh, some good old wheels. That was a lot of fun. Um, we opened up quite a bit of wheels and. There's quite a bit of goodies inside that I really enjoyed getting my hands on, or at least seeing in person. And then, uh, yeah, playing around with like the glow effects was pretty interesting, pretty fun. Um, and then outside of that, just uh, playing some figures this last Sunday that I have not played in a while, or wasn't really planning on playing recently. Uh, I oh, yeah. got the closest version of Eddie coming to the ring in a low rider, as I think I'll get in Hero Clicks, and that was Eddie in, or Eddie piloting like the motorcycle equipment, so that he had charge and I could charge three amigos people. That was pretty fun. That was something that I've been waiting a long time to do. Even though technically there's other ways to do that with charge beforehand, I just this is the. Uh, the funnest because it's a motorcycle coming at you it is really cool i thought it was pretty funny it's always enjoyable to see uh some wacky stuff especially enjoyable to break out some wwe figures playing yeah. hero clicks i know i i overheard one of your games and was like i can't shoot him oh he's on a blue click which i also made that same mistake cannot, cannot uh, win just him. hilarious cannot no, win him. you can't get you cannot win him can't shoot can't him. pulse with me <laughs> yeah can't shoot me he just gets to move for free yep Yep, what's, sure what's does. funny is like that's the easiest part about him to like understand yeah. and then it's like what do you mean you get to attack me for free because i fail to break away it's like oh well you see i have reversal like what do you mean i'm immobile because of <laughs> like oh i have poison hold. poison yeah. doesn't do that no 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 no. this is no normal man's poison submission hold my good sir you're stuck yeah you're there i did use uh i used submission hold on i think a chainsaw at one point or maybe it was a. Oh, that's funny. I don't remember yeah. which one, but it was yeah. It was one of the constructs. I put it in the old uh, lasso from El Paso. El Paso, and, uh, yeah. yeah. Broke that big old boot, that giant boot's ankle. I guess. 
That's pretty funny. I like that. Yeah, well, right on, dude. It was that was a pretty fun event. The no one can share keywords. I got some videos of us playing games from that. Might upload them later this week. They'll be up. You guys pay attention to the YouTube channel. Speaking checking out things on the youtube channel uh we got a lot of videos coming down the pipeline lots of stuff being made lots of stuff getting edited uploaded here now uh stay look out for a couple of cool shorts we did a fun booster break series that's gonna be uploaded this week opening some packs that whiz kids gave us and just kind of going into them and stuff there's some older sets that got some cool history and then we also are opening up a couple of wheels of vengeance boosters which is a ton of fun so make sure to check those out if you're you know, looking for shorts or whatever, that'll be on our YouTube. First one was just uploaded today. We're opening a booster every day, going toward the wheels release. So that's pretty fun. Uh, so today is in Monday. So yeah, it's been a ton of fun. But uh, what made me happy this last week, I was able to go hang out with some friends. We I went down to Lincoln and we literally just like uh, adult sleepover, like play video games all night. It felt great. Brought my computer down, just played Team Fortress 2. It was so baller. It was so fun. Uh, and hung out. And then the next day, really cool, their college campus at their native center was raising money for the center. So we went and got some Indian tacos. It was an absolute blast. Ooh. Hadn't had uh, fry bread in a really long time uh, since I was like mm, staying at home around like last year or so, hanging out and going to like rodeos and stuff. So hadn't been any this year. Haven't had any fry bread yet this year. I will say we weren't there to get the fresh fresh out the pan hot fry bread but it was still really good in these tacos they're just so great so it's always a blast but yeah just hanging out with friends having a good time they never had fry bread or anything before so like that was really cool to get their reactions i don't know if they're just being nice or not but they said they liked it so that's pretty cool uh and yeah it was just a great time it's fun hanging out and they live in lincoln yeah. they live in lincoln yeah did they take you to ivanacone they did not take me to Ivan. We went to the Gray Whale for sushi, oh. which I had some some of the worst sushi. I didn't like. If I was a real Karen, I could have made a stink about it. But like one of the rolls I had was just burnt to a crisp. Like it, oh. it, it came in like the plate was on fire and it was in tin foil or whatever. And I'm like, do I wait for the fire to go out? Mm. Do I blow on it? Do I? And I was like, no, oh, it's not really going anywhere. Guess I just wait. Uh, and then I open it, and it's just, like, the rice is soggy from, like, moisture or whatever. And then, like, the steak on top it of it like was a, burnt. It's tough. It sounds like a, like, a street car sushi vendor. <laughs> yeah, well, it was it was supposed to be kind of a nice place. It was in some old bank. But, no, we didn't go to the, what was it, Cone? Is that just another ice cream I, place? Ivana Cone, yeah. It's Ivana downtown Cone. Lincoln. It's, like, do love, kind of do like love a me staple. some ice cream. Okay. You know, in like these classic like places that are all mom and pop shops, like uh, Ten Thousand Villages and Yankee Candle. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, but legitimately, Yankee Candle. Like, um, I've only been to it, and I haven't been to that. I haven't been to Ivana Cone in. Oof! It's twenty twenty three. It's probably been fifteen years since I've been to Ivana. Fifteen Cone. years. Yeah. Okay. I don't go to Lincoln wow. very often. I definitely don't go to downtown Lincoln because, like, I, I mostly just go for, like, shows or something like that. But uh, Ivana Cone, I assume it's still there. It is a homemade ice cream shop. Uh, they do, like, all kinds of unique flavors and stuff. But they also have, like, their flavor of, like, the month. And sometimes it's just, like, something kind of, like, wacky and it's really fun. Oh, but sure. It's just, like, this ye old timey kind of ice cream parlor so it's really fun okay. and the line's always out the door so it's like a 20 minute wait which isn't Ooh. that long like no it's kind of long but it, the line does move fast and then yeah you finally get up there and it's just like ooh, like those you know those like old timey uh candy stores where they make the candy like in-house in front of you it has, oh yeah it has that feel to it where it's like they're pulling <sighs> I love that back for the some reason some reason <sighs> like you know that kind of thing um yeah i like that but yeah, it's for my, for some reason. Whenever I think Lincoln, that is like the first thing that I think of. Even though there's tons okay. of cool stuff in Lincoln, I always think Ivana Cone. Well, right on. I'll have to mention it next time I go down there. Like, hey, we got to go to this Ivana Cone place. Yeah, we have to. We have to. But right on. 
let's go ahead and jump into the bulk of the episode. Well, not really the bulk of the episode, but let's just go ahead and jump into the news really quick. There's not a lot going on. Um, there were the holiday dials. We're not going to get into those. I personally, uh, I want to wait uh, until Christmas when I open my set to to see them. So uh, we're not going to talk about it on the podcast. So if you guys want to go see them, I think they're already up on like HC Realms and HC Units and stuff. So if you want to check out what's in the holiday box for Guardians of the Galaxy, you absolutely can. But we're not going to talk about them today. So... Yeah. I'm just, I just I think just, it's yep. wild they did uh, Kevin Bacon's head as an object. That's Ooh, insane that they did that. I love that. Spoilers for me because ah. I still have not watched the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. It's really, uh, it's really fun. I actually I really enjoyed the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. I thought it was like a really fun little thing. And I thought it was a good precursor, especially to Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Yeah, actually. I somehow so. managed to watch Guardians of the Galaxy 3 before the Christmas special. Which is free on Disney Plus. Yeah. No bueno. No bueno. <laughs> really no uh, I, I do it. recommend. Yeah. Like, it's only like 40 something minutes. So, for those of. I've already. I've talked to some people that said they've been listening to Christmas music since October 1st. Oh, and I was like, no. huh? I know. I know. And I was like, if you're in the Christmas mood, you should watch the Guardians of Special. And it's like, oh, no, wait. You are. I already know you are because you told me because you're a heathen you're listening to it October 1st. Wild man. Um, but yeah. So. I say for any Heroes player that's interested in the holiday special, hasn't seen it yet, yeah, Disney Plus, watch it, check it out. It's I think it's really fun. I think it was really enjoyable. I think that plus like Werewolf by Night, just being two just little one shot things were a ton of fun. Were a blast. So hopefully they make more. They haven't made any this year at all, which is kind of crazy because last year they made two and they were baller, and this year they've made none. So speaking of a uh, old maybe Disney Plus, have you been watching the the new season of Loki at all? Uh, no, I, I'm not going to, I'm probably just not going to watch any Loki if I'm being honest. Okay. That's fair. I will say one of my favorite like side characters, probably for okay. any Marvel franchise has popped up on the same level as the, uh, the storyteller dude from Ant-Man. I apologies to whoever that dude is. I have, oh, uh, no it's Lewis. Yeah. Louise. The guy that, that just like, yeah. goes like way too in depth. In yeah. His stories. That's like his whole thing. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the dude that played Short Round. Oh! Look that up real quick. Oh, cool. Uh, he was also in Everywhere, All the Time, uh, All the Places. All, all, all at once. Uh, Another K- movie that I've heard nothing but good things for I need to go see. K. Hui Kwan. I'm almost 90% positive that this is him. Okay. Um, yeah, everything everywhere all at once so yeah he was in that and then um gosh let me see if he's uh in loki uh but he plays like the dude that uh just keeps everything like running at the tva you never saw him in like the first part of loki because he's just like in the basement like doing his thing um but he plays someone named Ouroboros and yeah, he's just oh. like this funny little dude that just uh, keeps all the stuff going. Nice. Plugging in all the wires, making sure the gears are turned right on the clocks or something, whatever they'd be doing at the TVA. Yeah, basically making sure it's working. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I like Which that. Is, it's wild. Like, I mean, I, I haven't followed his career obviously, but it is wild that, from the first time I saw him to the second time I saw him, almost my entire like entire life, life yeah. passed by. In yeah, that, uh, yeah. In that period of time, uh, he was not in like a lot of stuff. So it's just like interesting that he like he's having like this like Twilight Renaissance where he's just uh, yeah. I was about to say coming back to uh, movies and TV shows and stuff and like in a very big way. It's like I would say. Loki season two, he is probably like the best part of it. Like he is like the most. Oh dang, part nice. Of it, which is wild, but yeah, he's just absolutely like hilarious in every scene that he's in, and um, yeah, that's about it. Okay, dope, dope. Well, right on. I, <laughs> I, yeah, I know my family's watching it. And my brother was like, "Hey, are you caught up with Loki?" And I'm like, "I'm probably not gonna watch that show." And he was just like, "Coward." I'm like, "Yeah." I'm just so uh <laughs> well, no, I'm TV I'm TV showed out right now. It's got to be like 
and watch more anime. That'd be that'd be really it. But like, yeah, I'm just not. I haven't got caught up with like anything. Like, I want to go see Ahsoka, and I have Disney Plus. Just I haven't watched. Oh it yeah. Yet. Like you know, like there's like all sorts of stuff that's coming I out. Forgot about. I haven't seen yeah. Mando. Uh, Mando season three. I haven't I watched. Like, watched. I want to. I, I want to watch it. Andor. There's there's so many like Disney Plus stuff that I'm just like. Yeah. I really want to watch this. I'm just not in the mood to watch it. Yeah, dude, exactly. So it's just like, like I don't, watch, I don't know, watch man. My, uh, my documentaries on mushrooms. I'm feeling it. I just, yeah, exactly. I just, yeah, a little, little mushroom documentary. But, uh, but yeah, so like that's kind of it for like spoilers this week, guys. Was like that. There wasn't a ton. There's like spoiler season is over for Wheels. Uh, this Wednesday, I'm hoping we get some erratas. I don't know about you, Simeon, but I do think a certain legacy card needs to have the Earth X yeah. keyword added to it. it. Would be really nice if we can fix Gotham Giddy. Can we? Uh, can we make Daredevil uh, a member of Earth X? Like it would be the first that's... time they would like errata just keywords alone. But man, it would be no. nice. Please I wouldn't even care it. if they just added. <laughs> Earth X to as guardian deity monster mystical. Yeah, leader, I'd be like, fine. I don't need like he doesn't have the pilot trait or anything like that. Like so, yeah. It's like I don't need him to be a vehicle or anything like that. Although it would be cool if he was. Um, I don't it need make sense. That. I just need him to have Earth X. Please, please. Uh, I don't know what other like day one erratas. I can't quite totally remember, but potentially. They there were a few. I don't remember if Notorious was that a day one or right. I was like a week or two later. That was a, that might have been like a week or two. I think later that was release day because they had like all that the was release day. Stuff. Okay, yeah, oh uh, yeah, yeah. Notorious timeline is so weird in my head. So yeah, I do hope for some release day uh, clarifications or adas, whatever you want to call them. It would be very very nice. Uh, I'd be very cool with that. So. We'll see what happens. Are there any uh, things you think might get a release day, Arata, later this week? I'm trying to remember. I don't think so. I think... No, that's kind of where I'm at. I think most of the things in the set were pretty The, the release day, Arata, to give to give Howard the Duck plus two stats on all, <laughs> on all clicks? uh yeah i I don't i really can't think of anything else besides like fixing daredevil like that's the only thing i can think of right now is just like fixing daredevil yeah that might have been like another legacy figure that had something wonky there's probably somebody that like is supposed to have flight or like oh that that oh sure yeah i think um i think headless horseman has flight and oh he has flight and he has phasing as well yeah i don't think so i mean if I the idea is that he's like a ghost like he's a phantom so i guess he flies yeah. but then it how does he carry it doesn't really yeah. matter or make the figure worse but like no it is weird that like a a ghost riding a horse has flight and then right. i think like none of the other riders have flight except maybe the legacy 2099 dude um sure but yeah i i can't think of like any off the top of my head that specifically need one i'm sure there's something that like we looked at or talked about that i'm not remembering but yeah i will say uh played against uh prime doc sasquatch how was that not, i think we had two you and i you and i had two very different uh yeah. <laughs> times playing that piece so i was running a fairly bad team just like on the offset it was 300 point golden age and i should have done what i would normally do and just have like five or six attacking characters instead i had three characters that could make attacks and then prez ricard who has a zero attack zero damage for his first two clicks so he has to be dealt exactly two or three damage to even be able to make attacks let alone like do anything other than his traded leadership uh, so there was multiple circumstances where I was like cut down to where it didn't matter. Uh, Eddie almost immediately goes from three damage down to two. So he's Oof. another one where like Doc Sasquatch has invuln top dial. So if I didn't have two outwits and I like outwitted Doc Sasquatch's like toughness or something, get him KO'd, he comes back, and then it would just be like, well, I guess I'm hoping for crit hits on these flurries. Um, yeah, there was a lot of like that, but uh, 
No, I think I only, I think I only actually KO'd him twice, and he rolled a one and like a three, and then I was like, I should probably go after someone else because there's way, way bigger like people that I should have yeah. probably deal with. It just felt like fun. Like I really wanted to try and KO him, and after playing against them, I'm like, man. It's not something that you can really bank on, but I don't think I gave that D6 roll enough credit because in most circumstances, you're not going to roll like back-to-back same number. There's a chance that you will, and it's just going to suck. But even then, right. that's a kind of tough dial to chew through. And then uh, he wasn't playing it, but um, Night Nurse, the Night Nurse from this set gives uh, friendly characters that like were supported this turn or adjacent. I don't even think it's supported. I think it's just friendly characters that are adjacent can reduce pen damage. So, yeah, if you're running that... Um, that Sasquatch, with yeah. Doc Sasquatch, yeah, you you have, like, a very hard dial to spin. I think so. I definitely think so. I will say, in our game, uh, I did just two-tap the Sasquatch. He rolled a five, and then he rolled another five <laughs> once oh. I killed him. And I was like, well, that's nice. how it goes sometimes, I guess. And he was like, yeah, I guess. And I was like, yeah. Whoops. It was pretty funny. But I was like, you know, that's just that's the that's the risk and reward. It's still eight clicks for 80 points, I think. It's pretty fun. And then the potential, that's minimum. You know, sometimes you get the minimum. That's, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. What can I say? But yeah, so I uh, do you want to talk about it a little bit? But the uh, the Whiz Kids Hero Clicks page doing some some fun things yeah. this past week. Uh, so if you're not already following the Whiz Kids Hero Clicks page either on Facebook or on Instagram, uh, probably follow them on both if you're not. But if you're not already following them, make sure to do so. Obviously, you're listening to a Hero Clicks podcast, so it means that you're at least tangentially interested and. Um, I would follow both WizKids pages because I like looking at the D&D minis because I sometimes buy those. And I definitely like looking at the Heroclix minis because I all the time buy those. Um, but randomly, just not not so randomly, uh, but they've been really popping off lately. Uh, multiple yeah. times oh, a day absolutely. and stuff like that. So, yeah, they they did a post on how to get the most out of Hero Glow, which was a fun little like how to guide they threw that together and um posted that up and asked for pictures so like i think a lot of the content is like in the comments people that post comments to like replies to the posts and there's some really cool ones like so the hero glow one especially i think you can just kind of scroll and you're just like oh wow like that guy really does glow like there's a uh, ghost surfer somebody had just like all of the hero glow effects i think it seemed like and they really turned out really well um then they did the ghoul party wheels of vengeance sparked a lot of excitement during pre-release weekend tell us about your favorite cool poll hashtag cool poll in the comments below and show us your hero glow and then yeah like a bunch of fun comments this is like probably the most active commented Dude, posts like it was like, great it'll be most or most days it'll be like two posts and each day it gets multiple posts and it's not just like the same i wish you guys would make this like that we used to oh get. sure now yeah it's like exactly people actually like you know engaging with the yeah. content how it's meant to be engaged with which is so cool and then uh six days ago so this would have been Last Sunday, uh, three goons walk into a bar. Now it's a party. DC uh-huh. Heroclix Notorious is full of spectacular spooky icons. Who's the best to look for Halloween? Share your pick for each category in the comments. Scariest, funniest, and most creative. So, based on the sculpt, those. And I have to shout out uh, Pinoy Heroclix here because he said, Scariest White Rabbit Goon, which I agree I think that's I do, yeah. super creepy little like culty member dude. Funniest King Shark, which is the sculpt where he's got like a foot sticking out of his mouth. I agree. Pretty funny. Most creative yeah, poison funny. ivy. And I'm assuming the rare, but could also be the super rare for that one. So Yeah. Um But then we get to we get to Alex 
Uh, I won't say his name. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to shout oh, okay. out completely because he might oh, want to okay. remain somewhat anonymous, I guess. Uh, a, a person named Alex M. will say, <laughs> said the scariest was deceased Batman, funniest was Toy Man, who's holding a little starro, and most creative sculpt was Robin King, who is posted up on a big old Robin skull, I assume, which is that was pretty wild. super cool sculpt. Um, and then... Uh, Fast forward to six days after that comment was made, and the same Alex M posts in Heroclix players and collectors around the world. Big shout out to WizKids Heroclix for this amazing Halloween gift. I'm still excited to see the extra bonus I got. Uh, so WizKids Heroclix sent him uh, a Super Rare Toy Man, a Deceased Batman. A super Robin King, and then also a convention exclusive Joker from like the Scooby Doo style of oh. uh, you know unmasked Joker, all because he just commented what he thought was uh, the coolest stuff on their uh, post, the scariest, funniest, and most creative. Dude, that's uh, that's kind of awesome. Yeah, I like that. That's really dope. Wow, I, I didn't even realize that like this was like a giveaway kind of situation, but like yeah, it's an amazing way to promote engagement um i hope this gets people realizing that they should probably comment and not just like comment you know the same old uh make goku make uh make one piece like that kind of like i will i will say shout out to the most uh adamant i'll say hero clicks player with a certain anime series that he wants to get made during their post today about like traveling for events, uh, he mentioned they asked like, "Oh, what do you always take with you to events?" And this player, you'll know as soon as I say it, says they always bring their Naruto dice and tokens. Ah, and then after okay. that, just says <laughs> after that says, <laughs> "Hopefully they get made into hero clicks someday." And I'm like, "Of course, of course. yeah." Oh well, he so is a funny. world champ now, so that is true. Fair. You know what? Well, you're, deserved. you're allowed to well say deserved. stuff like that when you're a world champ, yeah. Yeah, that's, it's just that's so definitely funny. McConnell. Just so, I just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just like, ah, oh, classic. Believe it. Oh, it's hilarious. But yeah, it's super cool. This post that was wasn't like, hey, this is a contest, and it was like, oh, cool. I got some really dope things from it. That's really cool. I love that kind of like not only just fun audience interaction. Like that post is just kind of fun. People get to have a good time with it. The post uh, about people like, hey, how far did you travel to events? I really enjoyed reading that thread because I was like, oh, who are some of these people? Or oh, I know these people. I know what they travel to. Like that's cool, you know. And then also like, oh, on top of it, sometimes you can get some prizes for it. That's super dope. So I love, I love the interaction that we are getting. This is everything people have wanted for years. Uh, from WizKids, and it's so fun. It's just like, it's more than just like the random post here or there, and it's actually promoting a lot of good discussion in the community, and I really like it. Yeah, I agree. And I that's another thing is the, uh, they did posts on, like, here's two boosters, what would you play if you pulled this and sealed? And I think that's a really interesting post. We've that done was similar cool. stuff with, like, videos and stuff, but, like, obviously... It doesn't help that their first booster had 300 point Chathon. Oh, that's yeah. probably just what I would play. Like, not gonna lie, that's yeah. prob- I would probably just play that at 300. Um, but it is interesting, and I think there's a chance. I'm not gonna say this is what they're doing, but since they sent somebody, you know, just what he picked, I think sent they already have these figures pulled. Whoever they decide is like the winner of this, uh, you know maybe it's like based off of likes and uh reacts or whatever but they might just send these two boosters to that person and that'd be a pretty good Ooh. two boosters to get sent well, because, it would be yeah a super rare and then um what is it zarathos is like a just a really cool rare i guess but yeah still two free boosters probably i'm not I'm not going to say that's exactly what they're doing but I, it feels like now that we've seen one person get some random goodies Everyone just start Ooh. commenting. I think yeah, the best sculpt nuts. is the newest Ultra Chase. I think the best sculpt is the newest God Pack. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone comment that and then just try. People, people are just doing the. I think the best. Uh, fifty five Hawkmans, fifty five Zodder Sanon, fifty five, fifty five Batman's, fifty five Superman's, fifty five like, discount codes, fifty five yeah. Hero Clicks boosters. Oh uh, uh, jeez. Yeah. 
55 Twilight Swords, 55 Star Cards. How many, what boosters are you, how many boosters are you going to get for Wheels of Vengeance? 55 boosters of Wheels of Vengeance, 55 boosters of Notorious, 55 <laughs> boosters of Beyond Amazing. <laughs> Just like going nuts. They're like, oh, uh, dang, he got the most reactions. So we definitely have to. We gotta, we him gotta out. give him the 55. <laughs> he broke oh, the hilarious. system. Yeah. He knows. He knows <laughs> the wishing for more wishes cheat code for uh, WizKids yeah. post. Oh gosh, no. But yeah, that has been like <laughs> super cool. It's been super cool. Oh uh, goodness gracious. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead. Let's jump into kind of the bulk of the episode here. But we have a ton of listener questions. I think they're pretty fun. Uh, it'll be just end up being just a fun time. There are dozens of us. Dozens. So really quickly, let's jump on over to the Discord. And ooh, ah, Calder said Discord. Does that mean it's time to what's that? Huh? Plug the Patreon. Well, yes, yes, it is. You're correct. So uh, the Discord is where all of our five dollar and up tier members get to hang out. The Discord is a ton of fun. We have all sorts of. You know, general chat. We got team building. We got giveaways every year. Uh, every year. Well, we do have them every year. We do them every month, actually. Uh, we talk about betting in hero clicks, what we think is going to be made, what might be made. We got a Marvel Snappers thread, which is dead, which is so fun. And we play <laughs> Bad Samaritan every once in a while, which is just a fun hero clicks guessing game uh, that we even played at Worlds this year, which was an absolute blast. And winners of Bad Sam have the chance to, uh, of the month of Bad Sam, have the chance to appear on Dial H action tokens that we make. And yeah, we just all have all sorts of cool, fun stuff on the Patreon. That's just the Discord. If you look into the Patreon, you look at more. Uh, there's all sorts of cool things you can get. We got T-shirts. We have action tokens. Uh, mm, probably out of dice. Might need to order some more dice. I guess we're out of dice. Uh, but there's all sorts of really cool stuff that you can get on the Patreon. Uh, first, behind the scenes looks, uh, exclusive content, videos that straight up the public is not going to see, but they are for you, yeah. the elite members of our Patreon, Bloopers which is really cool. Kind of content. Bloopers. Yeah, a lot of bloopers, bloopers and stuff and like then, that. I guess, yeah, there, I guess there's just like some like content that's just for like Patreon members. It's like inside joke yeah. kind of content, not necessarily bloopers. A lot of stuff like that. We have a fairly, I would say, very welcoming Discord. There's lots of good discussion that's happening. Uh, today, there's a lot of talk about just Wheels of Vengeance pre-releases. A lot of people rocking their Dial H t-shirt that came out this year to their pre-releases, which I love seeing, so that was a ton of fun. But yeah, so there's the Discord plug. And now, really quick, we only got one question this week from the Discord, and that was from his own Bill asking, what movie script, not about a comic book, would make the best comic book movie? Now, I don't know about the best, but I think we can kind of have fun of trying to figure out what movies would translate well, like how this movie plays out if you just swapped all the characters around and made it a comic book movie. Have you thought much about this question, Simeon? Do you have an answer for this? Uh, my first thing that comes to mind is like Ocean's Eleven. Oh, sure. So okay. it's like the whole like, and obviously this is like like Ocean's Eleven slash heist movies is so ingrained in culture that even Rick and Morty made fun of it. Like that's how much it like yeah. happens. But yeah, like Ocean's Eleven for me specifically was the very first like let's get a crew together and it was like, you know, we need the uh the distraction guy. We need the blah 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 guy. The guy that's like good at like opening locks. The guy that can fit into like a tiny little space. All that stuff, and I, I definitely think that yeah. happened, or probably already hasn't happened in like multiple comic books, right? But I think the the heist sequence, if it was like, just for example, like X Men breaking into like the Orcus headquarters or whatever, and you've got like oh, a sure. crawler stuffed inside of like a tiny tin can. Oh thing. no, no! Poor I get Nightcrawler. that he can teleport, but like, what if we just shoved him in something what instead? If... <laughs> He's nimble. He just did that. Yeah. You're a real little guy, aren't you, Nightcrawler? Well, yes, I suppose I am. And then they just, yeah, yikes, poor Nightcrawler. Uh, my idea was they live, but it's secret invasion. Uh, yeah, that's what that's what I thought. That's, I was like, okay. I mean, that is kind of how secret it's invasion kind... went for. Uh, right. For, uh, what was the guy's name? Try, trifold, try, try man. Oh. By, uh... Uh... Try, yeah. I want to say triathlon. It's not triathlon. What is his name? But yes, because he has the literal goggles that, yeah, yeah wow, you could actually right. physically see, see the, the difference and like wow. see through like the uh, Wolverine so, yeah, could that. like smell through, which not as 
not as cool. It's not cool when you can like smell people through their no. disguise. Not really. No. I know you're not Jeez. a Dalmatian. You're a seventeen-year-old girl hanging out at this party. Oh, I don't care if it's Halloween. I can see through your disguise. You're not a dog oh at gosh. all. And you're not a policewoman. What's going on here, bub? I feel like that's... that's oh, his name is Triathlon. Sorry, I had to look it up. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude's name is actually Triathlon. That's yeah. hilarious. Triathlon, unless yeah. I'm, he could, uh... unless, I'm, unless that's his non-prime version, because I know there was two. The prime that, version yeah, was whole... 3D Man. And okay, that's right. And I only remember that because, like, both yeah, of them are three is. triathlon and three D. Yeah, that's very true. But yeah, I don't remember which was actually part of like the uh, secret invasion. Three D man. Okay, three D man has uh, text that says goggles of the first three D man. See a person's true form and intent. So it was three D man. Okay. That could do the the see through stuff. So yeah, a three D man secret invasion, aka they live. Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking. And then it, it was honestly one was, was just like three times faster, three times stronger, three times more durable. It was so, just like normal like human that. stats, but like times three. So it wasn't times, like super impressive, three. but it was still like really good. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, for sixty points, you know this guy's not as bloated as some of the other pieces in the uh in the comments and the common section of avengers assemble honestly he's a little charge flurry 60 point piece it's not bad it's not good by today's standards but like he's not like egregiously bad like how rage was for 74 points literal garbage uh who else is in the set i'm not now i'm not gonna get sidetracked anyways uh he hasn't aged too bad what a guy so yeah mine mine was they live I believe Bill said he watched Roadhouse, I want to say, and he said this is just a Wolverine movie <laughs> or something like that. That's it's kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, so, listener, tell us what's a non-comic book movie that you think could also just be a comic book movie. If you swapped around some characters, let us know. Send us in. Also, if you want to ask questions like Bill, yeah. If you haven't watched They Live or you haven't watched o- Ocean's Eleven specifically, you um, um, should definitely watch both of those doesn't really matter the order they're not at all connected but you have to you have to watch oceans 11 before they live otherwise we'll be totally lost on yeah. what's happening because <laughs> because then because when you find out who what is doing rowdy probably, roddy Piper all... doing in this casino yeah 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 exactly it's, it just it won't make sense it won't make sense Ugh. it's so dumb oh uh, gosh uh, next up, we got a handful of questions from old Malcolm Rush here. He's asking a ton of questions about sculpts. So let's go ahead and get into it. He asked, best, worst, and favorite single base hero click sculpture of all time. Simeon, best, worst, favorite for just a single base piece. Oh, man. Best and favorite are going to be like some some very hard contenders. I think best probably changes every year with every set that drops. My current fair. best that I think I'm going to go with something from like this most recent year. I'm going to say oh, I really want to say Ghost Goblin, but I think I'm going to go with the Super Archathon. I think I think the the Cthulhu esque giant dude is a really cool sculpt, and so I'm going to go with that one as the best single base. Uh, it is so cool. Worst, I could do so many for this, but I'm going to go with uh, just to like keep it on like Wolverine esque kind of. Not, not that I started it on Wolverine esque, but just to get it that direction, I'm going to go with uh, Patch from Collateral Damage. Okay. The R-E- okay. REV patch. Um, Interesting. He's just got like a one big googly eye because obviously he's got a patch on one, the other eye and his like head's not really proportioned with his body. So he's he looks more like a Quasimodo type character than Ooh, Wolverine. Ooh, that's tough. So yeah, I'll go with that one. And then favorite, uh, I'm going to keep it on the Wolverine thing and I'm going to say the Weapon X in the test tube. Like breaks out that from Captain America. I think that's that is so cool. I've always loved those like 
sculpts that move or change and that's yeah as far as single absolutely bases go, that's one of my favorites for sure just, absolutely they're so dope uh i think the best is of course the ant-man from the chaos war ant-man giant man pack i think that's one of the best sculpts ever is that, is that like with a um, messina sculpt it's just like blank dial uh yes yeah yeah yes <laughs> uh i think the worst is this old version of invisible girl one of the all-time worst sculpts i've ever seen okay. um and and then my all-time favorite sculpt ever is despotellus okay so yeah <laughs> uh and right then my ser- and then my yeah 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 uh my serious answers uh personally this is just a sculpt i like to display almost all the time so i guess the best for me is uh captain iron america i just really enjoy it i like the iron man suit i like the flag i like the shield I like the rubble it's really cool he's got a flag in that uh, sculpt, right got a flag got a flag in the sculpt ladies and gentlemen yeah. love to see it love to see it waving uh worst i'm going the zero zero one avengers uh ultimates potato head captain america he looks so bad he looks terrible uh, I just don't know if he's zero zero one in that set, but anyways, the the Captain America from the very first Avengers set, the first carded one, has just horrible, horrible face sculpt. Uh, and then I guess my favorite sculpt of all time just has to be Hammer Thor Captain America. I love it. The rubble, the smoky foot, yeah. the clean look of the suit, the iconic stoicness, the pose of Captain America. It just it looks great. Next up, we just go up a base size here, and it's best worst favorite double slash peanut slash he didn't say this, but slash Twinkie. Put some respect on Twinkie, Malcolm. Twinkie, yeah. uh, Twinkie base sculpture. Oh man, this is that's even even a harder one for me personally because it's tough. typically when something goes a size up, it becomes even more impressive, and so I would say like it's it's hard to say that there's like a bad one but let's see the best i.e i'm gonna go with avengers prime is the best i think arguably that's just like uh yeah a very good peanut based sculpt um the worst and probably like fire and ice that's a fairly Ooh, so fair oh and then yeah personal favorite goodness um gosh i i (laughs) personal favorite i'm gonna say is green lantern flash that like brave and the bold one where like green lantern's making the ramp and flash is running up it i think that one's pretty oh okay um yeah flash and flash from the same set is also pretty solid honestly like those all look terrible compared to the new twinkie bases that we saw like everything got knocked even like the rares and uncommons like knocked it out of the park but uh in wheels of vengeance but yeah i still i still like that og green lantern flash for some reason it is such a solid such a solid sculpt and it's like a fun idea but you know green lantern can't make construct sidewalks fast no as fast the flash can the run flash would so, have but to it's still slow cool. down because yeah. green lantern can only make constructs at the speed of light we yeah. all know that Flash is way faster than that. So way fast, so much faster. Why would why would the Flash uh, limit his speed like that? I know, I know. I'm t- Green Lantern, Green Lantern, terrible hey, idea. Hal, can you make me a sidewalk, please? Wait, what? What? No. Flash, walk on the air molecules yeah, from people. You can literally spin arms fast enough to yeah. make a tornado to lift yourself up. Just do that. Just f- go into the speed force teleport exactly come on dude. come on uh so my fate uh what i think is the best i agree with you simi i think avengers prime is just like arguably probably the best peanut base sculpt they've ever made it's amazing it's immaculate it's dope looks great uh the worst is cameron hodge if you don't know oh, who cameron hodge yeah. is go to un dude i hate cameron hodge and then pulling him in a booster you're like no why why him uh why the three dollars super rare of cameron hodge i hate him yeah uh, he's horrible he's terrifying to look at he's got his gross robot spider body with his like human face on this it's weird i hate him it's... i hate cameron hodge Gosh, I can't I remember him. what movie did this. It's like RoboCop's. The way that like RoboCop's face is like awkwardly like stretched and like pinned in place. 
that's what like Cameron Hodges face. Yeah, looks like. it's just unsettling to say it's the just, least. Yeah, it's weird. And he's stupid, and I hate him. Uh, so that's Cameron Hodge. And then I guess my favorite peanut is probably Pegasus Captain America. I just love oh, okay, I love yeah, the way yeah. he looks. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's not not a uh, shocking answer that I gave there. Uh, I just really, I actually like it. The wingspan is amazing. Uh, if you don't want to play with the wings, he's just riding a horse, which is pretty cool. He's doing a little leap effect. Love seeing it. And yeah, it just looks it looks beautiful. Next up is going to be a two by two base. So best worst favorite two by two base, Simeon. Gosh, this one's even harder because like Marvel just absolutely blows it out of the park with how many two by twos they have um for best two by two i'm gonna go with uh i'm gonna say shumagorath i think okay arguably that's the best it has a an, an eyeball that can be moved around and stuff um i think that's pretty unique as far as two by twos go there's not a lot that have some sort of movement involved uh worst is probably something like green dragon puff like ah, that's still like a oh, cool sure. figure it's like a big old dragon um eugene torbett witterspin the non like Ooh, the, the non juggernaut yeah the nerd glass juggernaut, juggernaut. juggernaut that's probably like up there uh i would say ju- like giant girl but like even then it's like we have you know a giant girl finally after like so many years of not ever getting one man there's oh okay i i know what it is i know what the worst the worst two by two that we've gotten is it What's is that? the uh og like giant size x-men frost giant where it's like it's okay okay sculpt but it is just like have you ever played one i've never played one i've owned one for no, like i've never 10 I mean, years <laughs> like never i've never one. owned one either uh but yeah no nah. or the frost warrior the frost warrior is like the exact same sculpt but he's holding a different weapon they they look okay oh yeah it's like one is like a spear and like one is like a mace or something yeah. like that, right? Just something weird. Yeah. They could be used for D and D, but like not for hero clicks, essentially. No. No, they're pretty bad. Uh so that was best, worst, and then I have to do favorite. Uh um, your fave. I'll go with the uh no. I was gonna say the OG Dark Phoenix, but I've definitely had a more recent favorite one than that. My original original favorite one when I got into Hero Clicks because I didn't know about like all the ones that existed was Batman Superman Robot. That was the one that I wanted. Ooh, that one is that one is a really good one though. That one's fun. I'll go with uh just because I still so dial aside. I still love his sculpt, Living Tribunal from AI. One of like the I most, I can mess with that one. Yeah, most iconic kind of like marvel pantheon type figures super cool i'll never play him at any point value almost ever but what an amazing skull like literally if i bought a figure just to like put it on my shelf which i basically did with living tribunal it would be that kind of figure where it's like just an amazing sculpt and a dial that's not worth ever putting on the map which is kind of sad but yeah i do love his sculpt i love the big pose he's hitting that's a good pick I like, actually, I really like that one. Nice. Uh, my best worst favorite. I I do like your Shumagraph pick for best. I do. I guess personally, I think the Phoenix Force Cyclops is like the best two by two sculpt we've gotten. It's just yeah, Phoenix Force Cyclops just looks insanely cool yeah. with the way the Phoenix Force uh, looks like, around him. It's really dope. It's less of a Phoenix and more like this like warping effect. That's like yeah, it's more just all these crazy just fire getting, like, going on, really. With like, yeah, it's yeah. if uh, if we ever get a sculpt of Goku going like Super Saiyan three for the first time or something, that's like oh, the same go. kind of base that I want. Where it's just like ah, and it's just this you know massive effects. Yeah, five acres of fire swirling around him, kind of thing. Uh, for worst, I think you can probably argue that like. 
that one Spider-Man or the Clown Prince of Crime, like at least Spider-Man is like his first appearance that's cover true. issue. That's cool. I think you could argue that like the Clown Prince of Crime is like the worst use of a two by two sculpt. I would also say World's Finest is probably one of the use worst uses because those yeah. two can definitely just fit on a normal base. Yeah. Uh, uh, but I'm gonna go with a more personal or even like the, the two by two that I just like. Yeah, just the big old figures on them. So silly. Um, but I'm going to go with a, a worst one that's more personal to me, and that is the AI Giant Girl, which is like a fine sculpt by all means. But then if you compare the fact that her sculpt is like nothing, basically like what she's supposed to look like, which is a bummer because one of my first Avengers comics I ever had was of that version of Giant Girl. And... That's what that one's based off of. Is is like 2005, whatever, Avengers run. But uh, they made it so you could make it into the classic Janet Van Dyne, the yellow and black suit from that set. But the the purple and red was very much supposed to be this version of Giant Girl. And instead of having her longer hair and her mask with like antennae, antennas, whatever, uh, it's just the normal Janet Van Dyne head. And then her, like the way her body is like, shaped the weird shoulder pad v cut is like not at all what she has in those issues either which was just as a fan of that character for like oh this is like from like this is like the first avengers team that i ever really read it was very disappointing that we didn't get her like actual costume and we're never going to she will probably literally never be made ever again uh so that was like a worst for me uh and then favorite is a maridroid uh shocking not many people i just maridroid's cool Big Caps in America, yeah. Big Cap Robot. It's neat. Nothing crazy special. I just I just like him. I think he's fun. Uh, and then this one has a ton of variety because it is best, worst, favorite, sculpt bigger than a 2x2. Two two. So this is That's like 2x6, two two like 2x4 to four like 3x6. Three three six. Six, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you want to – do you have any for any of them? Uh, I do, yeah. So I think best is, again, you can probably argue that the Spectre is, like, the best. Okay. Because, man, he's got a lot going on. He's got, like, the souls. I genuinely think that every 3x6 is worth putting in, like, the potential, like, favorite best category. Um. I'll run down, like, the... It's not a huge list, so I think we're just going to run down them real quick. 2x4s... We've got the Turtle Van. We've got Deadpool's Merc Jet. Uh, we've got Punisher Van. We've got the Pim Particle Tank, which most people have never seen the 2x4 version other than, like, for it to do that splash damage thing. Yeah. Uh, the Blackbird, X-Men Blackbird, that came with the ID cards. Cube-powered Thanos Copter, which, not a great sculpt, but very funny because the comic line that it came from. Um cube powered thanos copter and just regular thanos copter the newest master mold obviously a animated version of master mold so it's right. kind of goofy the og quinjet which would later be repainted to the uh yeah deadpool, deadpool merch jet. jet the then it goes into like the team bases so it's zombie team base avengers x-men team bases uh, X Men Blue, X Men Gold, Excalibur, New Mutants, Shi'ar. Which obviously, if you're assuming these, you're assuming you have them filled out so they look cool. And I think all of those right. look really you have solid. to. I think so. Yeah. On the DC side, there's the uh, Wonder Woman Invisible Jet, the Batmobile, which is like the newest Batmobile. Um, and that one, I don't even know what era that is, other than like animated series. The uh, Rock of Eternity, which I forgot that was a two by four, but like it's oh so good. It, it yeah, is straight I guess up a it is two by is that four the worst? resource. Is that the worst skull? Probably. It's just like you just kind of peg in the sins. Yeah, yeah. Just that like, one's pretty rough. Just like eight glowing slots of sins. Seven glowing. Seven deadly yeah, sins. Seven. Yeah, seven deadly. Can't sins. believe you said eight. Yeah, so <laughs> that's so funny. Well, it's two by four, so it was like eight, right? Yeah, two, I yeah, that's fair. That's two fair. times four is eight. Uh, but yeah, you know, the eight deadly sins, you forgot about the last one, um, podcasting, that's what it is, uh, what? no, no, the Batman classic TV set, Batmo- Batmobile, 
super cool back. Oh, yeah. Awesome sculpt. Not only do they have like the onomatopoeia effect on top of it, but it also just very classic Batmobile. Uh, it is. New Teen Titans, Justice League, Titans, Villains for Hire, and then Gen 13, of course, which I just... Gen 13 is mostly all in their own sculpts where like the team base works, but still a very cool one. And then you go I will all say that's the like way back. The only DC team base that I have completed and displayed is the Gen 13. Yeah. I just think it's so funny. I think they're hilarious. It's it's a fun comic series before DC bought them out. And I never yep. read it after that. But um, all the way back to the Batman series, there's the weird armored Batmobile. There's the Batwing. The Invisible Jet, which is the same one that same sculpt as the uh, one that I mentioned earlier. The GCPD Cruiser, the military tank, which I think is the same as the haunted tank. And then, yeah, also the haunted very tank. similar, and very that's similar. The entirety of two by fours. So out of those, I really don't think there's a ton that you could say like worst, best. Um, I think good, like. Personally, my personal feelings, it would be somewhere between Deadpool's Merc Jet or the Avengers uh, Jet, the Quinn Jet. They're the same exact sculpt, just different paint jobs. And I just personally, like, for some reason, that just always looked awkward to me. It's like way too fat, wings are too small, how does this thing fly kind of thing. Oh, sure. That's um, almost just like, man, the comic design. Initially, it was just silly. Yeah. Which is true, yeah. Punisher van is literally just a van, but it's like the fact that I know it's Punisher's van makes it cool to me. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's so dope. This ain't no van. Yeah, they could van. have an ice cream cone on the side, and I'd be like, it's Punisher's van. Um, yeah, so cool. And then, yeah, like my personal favorite is probably. Oh, man, it's probably X-Men Blue. That's like a fairly OG cast of characters and like the okay. the actual like backdrop of the sculpt is pretty cool. Excalibur is like eh, it's like Mirror Island, so it's like got the um the waves hitting on like the rocks and then like a lighthouse and it's like it's cool enough. Ooh, that is pretty, yeah. Um what I don't see here is I don't see the Hellfire clubs uh that's because they are a two by two they're a two by two oh, base. oh is it really okay yeah hellfire glove wow. uh club and then what was it the um the weird aliens from whatever universe they're all the two by twos okay well yeah yeah i'm not super happy VR. with like most of them but like they're all like interesting at least display worthy i think team bases yeah. are i think i think they're all pretty solid for the most part. I think like I think like the Teen Titans one with the big Titans Tower might be just like one of the best. Yeah. Period. Because it just has like a, such a cool element on it. And then I think all the both like X Men ones are good because they're like ones like in the Danger Room and it's like half turning into it's like a hologram. Like that's like so solid. Um, maybe like the villains in Justice League team bases are some of the worst ones because it is like people like, on platforms. Titans Tower, yeah. Uh, I mean, well, arguably like X Men and not, the Avengers are like not the Titans worst Tower. ones because they're just like literally on yeah. the moon. Like that's all the they're they are on fight space. Yeah, yeah. Those zombies ones... are cool though because they got baller sculpts and zombies are baller, so they're easily the zombies the at least have like skulls ever. and like dead yeah things around and stuff the uh dr octopus is missing octopus arm is on there too it's great yeah avengers vs x-men is just like just like moon rock one very moon rock two which it, everything know, it had to be right because there's so many yeah. different sculpts versus the other team bases were designed with specific sculpts in mind and then yeah uh to round out the second portion of that um the sure. the six by threes because there's just as many six by threes as uh two by fours um so the newest galactus obviously i think probably the most detailed figure they've ever done period uh huge effects swappable head just massive massive figure with massive detail fear itself serpent one of my personal favorites 
Uh, I just I love the way mm-hmm. the figure looks. I love the way it plays. Um, everything about it, like the translucent wings, the damage to it, like everything like that. And then it goes back to Galactic Guardians Galactus, Zoran the Tester, Master Mold, which I prefer this one over the newest one, obviously. Uh, he's like yeah. way bigger sitting in a chair. Uh, and then it goes to the Infinity Gauntlet, Thanos with Thanos' shrine, um, which one of the first three by sixes I ever collected was that. And then goes to the OG Galactus sculpt, which is Galactus uh, Eater of Worlds. It's the same sculpt as the Critical Mass Galactus, but it's shiny instead of just like the matte paint. Uh, and then there's, of course, our three Fing Fang Fooms. You've got Purple Pants, you've got No Pants, and you've got Orange. Those are the three Fing Fang Fooms. And then, yeah. I love it. Galactus again, but this one's like the matte paint, flat, uh, light purple on, or dark purple on light purple or pink. And then on the DC side, there's the two Brainiac Skull Ships, which, cool, but probably on, like, the weaker end of, like, stuff that I actually care about. The uh, big old Necron, which is a 2x2 two two standing on a Black Lantern base. So just like the Thanos Shrine, it's a 2x2 two two that's, like, inhabiting a 3x6, which makes it even cooler. And I've actually got two of these, and they're insane. I actually can't wait to play one of these on a team with the other Necron. Like in some sort of wacky golden age thing, I'm gonna play one of these on the team with the other Necron, so that I can heal one past its starting. Like the, one of the three by sixes will heal past its starting line to like, I don't know, potentially the 2600 point line. Potentially, <laughs> jeez, <laughs> not really. It would take way too long to do that. Uh, the bug, the blue beetle bug never seen this one in person actually the bug is cool actually no the bug's cool i like the bug a lot i think it's very fun but yeah i've never seen it in person it just makes me really wish they had made um the owl thing from watchman whatever that thing oh called. arnie or um, archie archie the owl archie yeah, yeah. archie yeah archie archie for real this time uh the once again just massive dial for not a character uh the bat cave so entirely like a special, what, like relic resource style? Yeah, it was like a resource. Yeah, that is kind of like a cool one. Like crazy yeah. cool. You can also put the bat belt on it as well. Like, yeah. yeah. The fact that like you, there's a spot for, um, gosh, there's a spat, spot for the bat belt, a uh, spot for a Batman. And then um, I think it just already has an Alfred sitting on it, but yeah, that one was really cool. I actually, yeah, I've got multiple bat belts, and then I have at least one of those. Uh, Dr. Manhattan, and then also John Osterman, which that's just a difference of whether it's you just want a the shiny different dial. Or, yeah. Shiny or shiny, not shiny. Yeah. And then the uh, last but not least, the very first 3x6 they ever made, the uh, Spirit of Vengeance. Good old Jim Corrigan. So, there's a lot. Oh, man. Saying all that, I forgot how many good ones there are. It's a lot of good ones. A lot of really good ones. Shoot. It's tough. It, like, legitimately, in the 3x6 category, it's so much harder than the 2x4 category because there's a lot fewer, but there's also, like, everything's iconic. This newest Galactus is, like, how do I not say that's, like, the best sculpt? Because it's just so detailed. But then look at, yeah, like you said at the top of it with that Spirit of Vengeance. Through that, nice, dude. All those, like, um, ethereal, like, souls reaching out and stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's such an amazing sculpt thing that they did. Dr. Manhattan's kind of weak because he's just, like, a big dude that's standing there. But he's just kind of standing there, yeah. But he's still, like, you know, it's it's still Dr. Manhattan. Like, Necron. It's still cool. Yeah, on, it's like, still cool. The rocks with the giant... I- black lantern i think like the serpent is one of the best because that is directly ripped from comics and it's like ripping apart that building and there's all that smoke and it's this big cool dragon serpent thing like that's definitely up there as well yeah it's got a lot going on it's dynamic it looks intimidating it's just freaking cool 
Yeah. I think, I we think I might it. just have to give it to Spectre. Oh, we this one. I just we need yeah. a return to. I mean, we did get Galactus only, what, Dude. Three, three years ago? A casual, a casual three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. We need to return to more uh, three by six bases. Especially, like, in the realm of, like, the serpent. And especially, so cool. like, more especially, uh, DC has more not More grand gotten... prize pieces, dude. That as far have, as, like, yeah, actual massive. characters, DC has one, two, three, and that's a stretch. Because Necron is technically a two-by-two two on a different base. So, like... Everything else was like a vehicle, the Bat Cave. Well, not a vehicle, but the Bat Cave, the Bug, the Skull Ship. Like yeah. those are all technically vehicles. Yeah, a lot of vehicles. So like, yeah, yeah. Like we need a, uh, we need like an anti monitor, a, a new three by six Necron where he's just like, on the base. Uh, what's another good big DC villain? I don't know. Just like a pantheon of the gods of apocalypse. I guess would be cool. Something like that. Okay. The Green Lantern Guardians with like a huge construct around them. I don't know. There's options. I do. I do love stuff like that, dude. I would love Green Lantern's giant constructs like that. It would just be literally so so freaking dope. Wow, this Necron is terrible for a thousand points. <laughs> I'm just now looking at him. Uh, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's got ten clicks of reducers. But then after that, two, four, Oof. six, eight, nine clicks of regen. So for a thousand points, if you hit him past that uh, last impervious click, he's just got regen. Obviously, mm. he's got like way more going on with his like multi attack and blah 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 blah, the power levels and healing from other stuff. But right, of course, of course, of course, the power levels, the power levels. Of course, he has power levels. I just really want I really want to play this Necron with the new Necron and just uh let's see the two by two. Just oh, move him around. He's three hundred points. The two by two is three hundred points, or the six by three is three hundred points, so I might as well play the six by three and potentially heal it to the seven hundred point line or the thousand point line. <laughs> Or the 2600 point line which is like all three dials i don't know how that works with separate dials probably doesn't probably just doesn't that's fine yeah i don't know yeah this this game that i'm potentially um, playing this in is so golden age that not, no one will is so yeah there will be no rules that's exactly how it'll be played so with all that what do you think simian uh let's see that's only that's only question four. We still have. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know. More. Uh, so best worst we do have a favorite lot. gimmick hero clicks sculpture gimmick. I guess that's like like stuff that like pops off. Uh, I would say, yeah, anything that kind of does something kind of silly. That's more than just like just, you know, it's just them on the sculpt. Maybe yeah. it, uh, I, I would consider all the iconics that like go oh, together, you yeah. know, yeah. So I would say those are like kind of gimmicky, you know, like that's the idea is there a sculpt that connects to another sculpt. I would say like team bases are probably a gimmick sculpt. I would say your weapon X is like a, a gimmick sculpt, right? It has yeah. a removable effect, like stuff like that, I would say. I'm going to say the best is probably Civil War, Iron Man, Captain America, or like legitimately two figures lock up. Yeah. Uh, and they actually fit together. Comic panel. Yeah. Uh, I'll say worst for that is uh, like Squirrel Girl's like tippy toe that she spits out. It's just like one of the Savage. smallest. It's one of the it's smallest so figures when you compare it to like so Lobo's sad. dog or, or not Lobo. Yeah, Lobo's dog or Red Wolf's Lobo. Gosh, I always it's get those so two sad. confused. Lobo yeah, has fair. the dog bystander. Dog. dog. Red Wolf yeah, has the Lobo bystander, which is it's yeah, very confusing. Yeah, yeah, it's very confusing. Um, I think those ones are pretty good. And then uh, personal favorite gimmicky one, I'm gonna say, yeah, I'll just stick with Weapon X. I think that's pretty fun gimmick, even though it doesn't yeah, really that's do pretty much. Fair. Once he, once he breaks out of the tank, he's out of I the mean, tank. 
Shows he's out and about. <laughs> yes. Uh... I agree with you. I had written down for best. I think it's Cap and Iron Man in Civil War. An iconic moment. They perfectly line up. It looks great. It's a great gimmick sculpt. I I said worst was like Bat Slap, only because it like just doesn't line up. Which otherwise, like if you could actually put them next to each other and it lined oh, up, then like I would physically, say, yeah, they're they, great. Yeah, physically, they it don't physically, like it line physically, up, they yeah. don't like. They look, they look really cool. Their sculpts are really fun. They just don't like quite physically like actually line up to like Batman slap Robin in the face. Um, which is kind of a bummer. And then my favorites, and this is kind of a weird gimmick one. I, I still consider this a gimmick, but I would say like title Deadpool stepping on the hero clicks board. Yeah. I just think that's really cool. I would, I would call it pretty gimmicky. I, I really enjoy that though. I like that a lot. I mean, uh, between that showing, and the new yeah. toy man where he's holding like the Starro yeah. hero click figure, we really don't have a ton of things that like are self-referential like that. I think those are the only no. two ever where they have like on sculpt hero click stuff i'm pretty sure uh no there's one more i think impossible man is reading a pac oh, okay. i think i want to i want to say yes i might be wrong but i'm i think he is reading a pac i i think if i'm wrong i guess i'm wrong uh what was that gimmick so six which hero clicks do you like to display either at home or at work we display a lot of figures at home, yeah. like a lot. If you watch our uh, YouTube channel, you'll see yeah. all this like collective stuff that we have in the background. Um, personally, at my home is like anything two by two or bigger gets put on the shelf. So I have a, a ton of junk on my ever growing shelf, and uh, anything that like. Anything that's like a cool chase theme, I have all of the Invincible Iron Man figures from like the chase theme on the shelf, all the Incredible Hulk chases on the shelf, the Hulked Out Heroes, uh, the Phoenix Five, um, the Swappable Dooms, anything that like uh, I'm slowly gathering my Ultra Chase collection, although like I, I've slowed on it. I, I've never gotten any of the Deadpool ones, but I'm like, oh, not sure. sure invested in those and then uh the zod or Sanan, i'm not super invested in so like mostly just have like you know the ones that are easy to get so i have captain marvel i have peggy cap i have uh thanos and then i have white rabbit but yeah i've got like a bunch of random stuff that just like is ever changing and then everything else is like two by twos and bigger sculpts that I just never got rid of. I also have the Mage Knight Apocalypse Dragon and the horror, uh, not horror, uh, yeah, horror clicks. Horror, horror clicks, yeah, yeah horror clicks. I've got the horror clicks, uh, Cthulhu. Uh, yeah, I'd say as far as like figures that when I've like moved or anything like that, I've always had to go on display. I have every single captain America and hero clicks. That's always on display somewhere in my room. It's on my dresser right now. Just every single cap. They are in line from when they were released, like oldest to newest. So that's like one of my all time favorite displays I have. And then I would say as far as the shelf goes, I love the zombie display uh, section of the shelf, which is every Marvel zombie from that Marvel zombie run, that universe displayed. So like all the chases from Guardians of the Galaxy Deadpool, which all have, I have three team bases to display all of them on. In a cheeky way, I have this quote unquote scroll team base, which has like four or five scrolls and then zombie super scroll in the middle, which is just, it looks so funny, uh, which is no legal way. It's not a legal way to play that, but it's really funny. Uh, and I like it. I recently picked uh, up And then the we game. have... Super rare Wolverine from uh, Mutations ah, and Monsters. Ah, Mutations and Monsters. Yeah, yeah, the only Galactus zombie version of any zombie they made. Galactus yeah. zombie Wolverine, which is really cool. I like him. I like him a lot. I played him a, a bunch. Old, uh, or I should say, uh, old the old me, or I should say the young me, uh, ripped off his flight stand and then replaced it with a uh, effect stand, which does look cooler, but now I'm like, should yeah. I buy that piece again? And I'm like, probably, yeah, whatever. It's fine. probably worth um, probably tearing it off yeah <laughs> i don't know if they'll ever make that guy specifically but i think you would definitely look yeah. better with a flight stand it was cool i i definitely or wish they would have made more stand. of the yeah like an effect stand yeah 
I do wish they would have made more of those original zombies and we could have gotten the full crew. We are just missing a like a Luke Cage zombie who is so important to that run. It's like the probably the biggest like a mission we're missing from like that original group, I want to say. Like def yeah, definitely. Um so like that's kind of a bummer because it was like him, Spider Man, Iron Man, Wolverine, Giant Man. Those are like the main mm -hmm. five after yeah. Colonel after Colonel America died. Those are then the main five to get like power cosmic. Uh, like full Galactus, because they all got power cosmic from Surfer, but then like full Galactus mode was like those five. Uh, but anyways, so I have all the zombies on display, like Zombie Galactus, Headpool, the the old chases, like all that stuff. That's probably like one of my favorite shelf displays. So that's what we got displayed at home. No. Uh, number seven, which hero clicks need a major update in their sculpt from the last time they were released? Ooh, interesting. Hmm. From the last time they were released, what is a more lackluster kind of character? Uh, I think off the top of my head, the Inhumans could you like outside of like Black mm. Bolt, he usually gets like a, a rare kind of like sculpt. But Inhumans we haven't seen in a while, and usually we don't see like Karnak with like a super cool sculpt. We don't see. Um, Lockjaw. We haven't seen a Lockjaw in quite a while. That wasn't like a Legacy or LE. Oh no, we did see the ABPI had the super rare one where he's like crunching on like the I beam. That one was cool. Um, oh yeah, that's right. But yeah, I think I think most of the Inhumans because there's a lot of them could use like a re sculpt now and then. Uh, we really haven't seen quite a few here recently. Um, man. Outside of that, I'd really like to see a new like Nick Fury where he's on like a floating platform where it's not just like dudes standing there with like a pistol or like dudes standing there like oh, sure. the like Nick Fury that's like at the helm of like a helicarrier kind of look where it's like, you know, this is like the height of my power. It's not like a uh, Hydra was actually shield and they took it down and now I'm like renegade. It's like no, I am I am the head of shield. What I say goes you know that kind of like Nick Fury. I think those those sculpts are pretty imposing. Okay, I do I do like those. I do like those. And then I I would have to go with yeah. I'm thinking Pink Lantern Guy Gardner because that version just shared with like the Red Guy Gardner, which is like kind of very lame sculpts at the time, just kind of floating up. Uh, from War of Light, and there's this great version of him in the comics where he's rocking the pink and the red ring, and he's got these two big, like, chain sword things coming out of both ends. You know, just another moment from when Guy Gardner single-handedly saved the Lantern Corps. Uh, but, like, that was just so dope, rocking those double constructs. Just, like, looked so sick. So, like, Pink Guy is pretty high up there, and you could probably say most Lanterns, honestly. Getting just a more crazier constructy sculpt, that'd be pretty high up there for me. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, next up, yeah. Uh, next up, number eight. Which Heroclix sculpts do WizKids reuse too much? I mean, there's just too many characters where, like, there's not a good way to express Spar, their powers yeah. without, like, a ton of effects or something. So, yeah, it's like, you know, Clark Kent just, like, standing stiff pose. Prodigy just, like, standing stiff pose, you know. Um, Wonder Man from... Avengers 60th, right? Was that Avengers 60th? No, that was uh, Avengers Forever. Uh, Avengers Forever. Avengers yeah. Forever, just hands on the hips. Yeah, hands on the hips, just like standing stiff, standing upright. I understand, like, these are common, uncommon sculpts, so we can't go, like, crazy with, like, details and stuff. But, yeah, like, there's a lot of characters where they're not even, like, throwing a punch or anything. They're just, like, hello, citizen. Like, they look very npc T pose kind of position. Yeah, that's that's like not necessarily a one sculpt, but just like the style where it's just very, it's very bland. I think Ian said it pretty well one time when we were like uh, opening and checking out some Disney Plus. But like all of the the humans in there, just like just generic humans, right? The uh, the TVA agent, like the Loki, the Mobius, Ravona, uh, what's it like Darcy Lewis? Tyler like all of them are just very just yeah. kind of yeah, just kind of chilling stuff. Yeah, they all are very, like, hands in pockets or, like, hands, like, down by their sides. Just, yeah. It's like, 
we sculpted them while they were at the craft service table, not while they were. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're just like waiting in line, you know. Yeah, it's like there's very much like kind of like that's just the I kind the idea of sculpt that they use too much is is that you know so just a little more you know a little less talk and a lot more action I guess is kind of what we're going for here. Uh, number nine, which former sculpt do you want WizKids to use to make a new character? This is interesting. What sculpt reuse do you want? I kind of uh, like this question. It's curious. There's one that's like very obvious to me that I want remade like immediately, and that's the Hydra Stomper. I, oh, okay. I so oh, right badly on. wanted that to be just like kind of like the uh, the Iron Giant version of oh. like you know in hero clicks or something like that yeah um but no there's there's so many good sculpts in the last couple of years honestly even though we don't know what they do quite yet the the marvel starter set sculpts if those don't somehow make it into a main set yeah i'll be a little sad because i know it, since it's a those, starter uh... set, it's gonna be like a toned down version but like that spider-man that uh Black Panther, like all of those, like really deserve the Iron Man. They all really deserve like a very cool dial, and so yeah, putting those in like a cool set where those are like rares or super rares, I'm super down for that. I would be down for that actually. I'd be absolutely down for that. I think basically any like chase reuse stuff like that. Like so, when they did the back in like 2020 or 2021, whenever it was, kind of forget the Masters of Evil versus the Avengers starter. Most of those sculpts are like super rares and chases from like one of the latest sets, Captain America, and then a few other sets. Like that was awesome. Like literally a set that had like all these awesome chases and whatever, super rares and stuff. Yeah. Instantly reusing those. Like very like a few months later, reusing those for like all right, boom, here we go. So Especially I keeping that, that in mind. That Captain Marvel was going for like fifty, sixty bucks. Yeah, a bunch, a bunch. So it's like, okay, they did nothing nearly as good as what their, of course, Chase Super Rare versions did. But if I wanted to own this sculpt, boom, I could just own it. Uh, the biggest thing I want them to keep remaking is more switch clicks. Uh, there's not a lot of switch clicks around anymore. Uh, ever since the whole like deep cuts are kind of going away, so I'd like them to figure out how to bring back switch clicks and use them uniquely especially if they're going to keep doing the Huntington's uh, switch click base thing. I think that prize doesn't mean like, it's still super cool, but it doesn't, it's not as cool when there's no like modern switch click characters to like use it with. That's just kind of like a bummer, you know? Uh, so I do, I do wish they would make just more switch clicks in general. But anyways, about like the whole chases thing, I would like them to remake all of the multiversal masters of evil, but instead of making them swap chases, which I just hate, I hate that, uh, make them just all very cool versions of themselves. Standalone, like basically team up card, like how the team up card gets rid of the swap. Just do that again and just make them like slightly different. I want like a 300 point, like don't have to make them balanced for swap at all. Don't make them 100 or 50. These should all be like, Dark Phoenix should be like 200 something points, right? Nah, maybe Hound and uh, Thor can stick around the 50, 100 point, I guess. They were kind of just pawns. Um, but, like, Black Skull should be, like, 300 point leader of this entire world. Tortured Robbie Reyes for days on end. Like, that's what Black Skull should be. Or, like, 250 points, something crazy. Yeah. That Doom should be, like, that Doom should be 300 points, 400 point line, whatever. Something nuts for not that like, Doom. Not shifting focus, you know? just, yeah. Like, just, yeah. Pure unadulterated this is my dial i am a boss battle on myself yeah like that's yeah. that's what i want them to like truly personify their characters it was cool for like the oh they have to work together to be shifting so they have to be kind of low around this line but like i like truly make some crazy wild you know like this is their comic accurate version this is them at their height of their power so that way they truly feel like the character because otherwise they just kind of feel like swappy pieces and then not playing them on swap, it's like, they should be so much more powerful than they are, like, really. So I would love to see just, like, some crazy comic-accurate versions of those pieces. It'd be a lot of fun. Uh, that's what I would love to them, like, to remake those. And all those sculpts look dope. Like, that's just another, all great sculpts. Ghost Goblin's amazing. Dark Phoenix is amazing. That Doom is very solid. That that Black Skull is a little smaller than he should be, but he's also still a very solid sculpt. It's like, you know, even like Wolverine and Thor are just like fine. You know, they're not crazy, but they're still like solid. They're fine. 
Uh, and then Iron Inquisitor looks great. King Killmonger looks great. They're just solid ones. Uh, and then the last question is, which Heroclix sculpt uh, most look like you? What do you think, Simeon? Man, I don't want to be... I don't want to be mean, self-deprecating, but uh, Harrow? Harrow probably most looks like me. Oh, I get, yeah, I guess. Um, I thought you were going to say, like, Horda or something. When you said de- self-deprecating, oh, I was like, yeah, Horta. probably Horda. Horta. <laughs> the pile of... Uh, yeah. The pile of sludge or whatever. Or the Horta. Um, yeah. More realistically, like, uh, yeah, I mean, if we want to go Star Trek... I see what like, you mean Thomas by it. Riker, I see what you mean. He's got a beard. Harrow. Uh, oh, yeah, there you go. Thomas yeah. Riker. I, I mean, technically, like, my my hair is like reddish so like harrow is not wrong but if we were if we weren't going with like that man like something that i wouldn't feel bad being similar to would be oh man i would i guess like the the old man spider what 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 set was he in was he in superior he's, he's got like a map he got a mask on though. You can't see his. You can't see what oh, he looks like at all. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I think Harrow's like the closest. If we're gonna be honest, I think Harrow's the closest. So, I'm gonna send you a picture, Simeon, and uh, maybe I'm not gonna send it to you because my computer's slow. Uh, yeah. So this character, I pers- I personally think, if you ignore. Like the like the body, like if you just look at like the way this person's like face and like the the hair and the beard is, this who I would say Simeon at his peak beard length, hair length, uh, that's you. Uh, where is it? There it is. Heck yeah, this is this is too funny. It's too funny. I don't want to say it because it's too <laughs> funny uh, to not just like send it to you and like I know like the listeners like come on man. And then get on with it. And then just do it. Say it already. Here we go. Ah, oh, like okay. you see what I mean? You yeah. see what I? You actually you see what I mean okay. though? Like with actually like how his beard looks, how his hair kind of looks. I mean, you're not you're not a giant Sasquatch man, but if if Sasquatch I mean? was more shaved body wise, there was a point where I had that exact yeah, uh, there... beard and hair length for like the head yeah. portion. And I definitely T posed like that all the time, where I'm like, I just like kind of hunched yeah, down, what a good. fists out. Yeah, what a good. Yeah, uh, I sent for listener that wants to <laughs> check it out at home. I sent Simeon Shaggy Man from Shaggy. Trinity Justice League Trinity War, which yeah. also is a great name. But yeah, I think this is great. Uh, for myself, uh, I do think the new Rawhide Kid is actually kind of up there. I when Brad did the little edit uh, picture of me, I was like, oh wow, yeah. actually this kind of looked like me. Uh, okay, I see it. Uh, so like Rawhide Kid, and then I will say when I made like a custom hero clicks of myself, I used the Agent X body and painted his jacket to look like my old Captain America jacket. And then I think I used like a Harvey Dent head. I wanna say it's just like a dude that has like brown hair and is clean shaven, just pretty simple like figure, I guess. So yeah, probably that. Probably that, Malcolm. And then uh, if that's guys, that's uh, everything. Those are all of our uh, sculpty. Yeah. If you have a a figure that you feel like encapsulates your look, like way too. Oh yeah, send it to us. Send, yeah, send us a picture of uh yourself next to the picture of that figure, or you know, some a picture of the figure at the very least with like a description of yourself, something, and uh, we'll rate them. I don't know. We'll do something with them. But yeah. Yeah, sure. I like that idea. Actually, it'd be fun. And then that is all the questions Malcolm has for us about sculpts. It was a it was a grand old time chatting about figures, sculpts, all sorts of fun things. I do love deep diving into like sculpts of yore, even though there's like at this point in my life, at this point in my collection, it feels like there's too many to be like, like I didn't even mention one of my my favorite sculpts of all time, and that's like the binary from the Captain Marvel movie. But like, there's so oh, many yeah. sculpts. The uh, the Captain Marvel Ultra Chase. There's so many where it's just I I display them all because they all have like something unique, something that I really liked when I first saw it, kind of thing. Um, but yeah, if you want something unique, something that you'll really enjoy every time you look at it, well, you should get the very first Hero Glow figures possible. You can do that by buying singles at CoolStuffInc.com. 
coming sometime in the near future. Uh, looks like expected release date is Wednesday, so that's November 8th. They'll likely have them showing up maybe that day, maybe a few days after. But yeah, you can pick up Fire Demon. You can pick up uh, Ghost Rider, Hell Cycle, Robbie Reyes, the Uncommon. You can pick up the rares that are Damon Hellstrom, Damon Hellstrom Prime, uh, Ghost Rider, Annie Ketch. Ghost Rider 2099, Iron Fist, Zarathos, one of my personal favorite rares. Yeah, there's a ton of cool stuff in this set. And there's a ton of cool stuff on CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find the latest Heroclix singles and sealed products. So check them out and use code DIAL5 to save 5% when you do. And if you want to go to the source and get some Heroclix direct from WizKids, you can go to shop.wizkids.com. And use code DIALH10 to save 10% off of your Heroclix orders. As long as it's not a pre-order, it's not a specialty item like Scott Porter or a Iconics figure. So, yeah, check them out at shop.wizkids.com and save potentially 10% off of some Heroclix orders. And they actually had some uh, some cool stuff going on. I don't know what they currently have, but yeah, they had some vampires. They had some... Uh, free gravity feeds going on during Halloween, so I'm guessing ramping up to uh, uh, Christmas here, they'll probably have some cool stuff as well. I imagine so. They usually have some pretty good sales throughout, like, in and around the holiday season, and it is it is November, which means we end on the best holiday of November, which is, of course, Black Friday. So make sure you just wait. Maybe I have to wait off for some Black Friday deals. So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind before you go too crazy. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So you know, they're out there. And by they, I do mean Black Friday deals. They're out there. Be patient. And with all that in mind, like always, happy trails. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional zero clicks now. Ooh. <laughs> We're not going there. That's how numbers work. Over oh, yeah. six oh, people yeah. think I am funny. I'm your Captain America. That was just you in a costume. Well, the rest of this case uh, doesn't matter at all. I'm from Canada. Canada.